What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here and I'm back with another video for you guys. And first of all, welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. And as you can see by title today's video, I'm actually doing an updated video from a video I did a couple of days ago talking about Funimation adding an app onto the Nintendo Switch. The reason why I'm updating this video is because at the time that I recorded that video, the app was not yet available onto the Nintendo Switch. But a few hours later, later probably around like 11-ish or 10-ish, they actually did did finally update it to where it was available so I want to give you guys more of an insight into what the actual app looks like because Funimation did say that the UI was very different from the apps that are on their Apple TV app as well as on their mobile app as well so I want to give you guys a little bit more of an insight and also answer a few questions that I know I had actually asked myself while uh, recording that previous video so one of the answers to the questions that I had was that yes you can log into your current Funimation account if you already have one I was able to log into mine and uh, the UI does look a little bit different but I'm definitely going to give you guys more of an insight about that so I'm going to be turning the camera around and you guys are going to now be seeing my Nintendo Switch and you guys are going to be able to see the UI interface of the Funimation app on the Nintendo Switch so check it out enjoy and uh, let's talk about this and dive a little bit deeper into this new app all right you guys see you guys soon in like a few seconds all right so here's my nintendo switch let us get into the funimation app and then this is the new ui interface so i'm already logged into my current account so here's what the new ui looks like you have home at the top you have my anime this season genres all shows and schedule so it looks like home is pretty much the usual going into the home of any pretty much where you can continue watching what you are already watching and also start watching any other new shows that they currently want to highlight like for now they have attack on titan for home or for my anime sorry about that it's pretty much any anime that you're already currently watching mine has uzaki chan wants to hang out it has uh higurashi when they cry yasha hime fruits basket my hero along with other anime as well this season is highlighting any anime that is new this current season and of course they have like attack on titan on here they have the irregular at magic high school they have our last crusade or the rise of a new world they have by the grace of the gods so they have a few different ones genres you can search by genre they also have all shows as well which is all the shows that they offer and they also of course have schedule which is where they have the i guess i'm assuming the schedule for when anime airs like december 22nd 23rd 24th so on and so forth so currently i have to say the ui isn't bad i do know that one thing that my fiance had said he noticed was that if you played an anime and you were watching it usually the next next episode that played was not the next episode so it like it would skip around but i can honestly say that i tried watching an episode of um Uzaki Chan wants to hang out and it did go to the next episode so I can say it seems like that seems to be fixed but this is the current UI I have to say I like it they also have a, the search is here and you can search for a show here I'm just going to type in I think they have Inuyasha on here I'm going to try Inuyasha in new looks like they have it and it pops up here so yeah i have to say search function is pretty cool as well search settings and then i'm assuming once you go all the way over you can go to your profile but yeah i have to say i like the ui it's not bad for you to get to whatever you want to watch you can log in and as soon as you click on the app to download from the Nintendo Switch App Store or the Nintendo eShop, uh, it immediately asks you to log in or to start a free trial, I believe. So yeah, I gotta say, I enjoy the UI. I hope they update all their other apps like this as well for uh, Apple TV or for the mobile devices. I so far haven't seen any issues about it crashing or anything like that, but yeah, so yeah, that's what the uh, UI pretty much looks like. So now I'm gonna go back in front of the camera. So see you guys soon. 
All right, so now I'm back in front of the camera. I hope you guys enjoyed that. But yeah, that's pretty much what the UI of the Funimation app looks like on the, the, on the Nintendo Switch. I have to say, like I said before in my previous clip, it looks pretty cool. It looks really nice. I like the UI. The search function is a lot easier. I like being able to search by genres and being able to search based off schedule. I think that's probably one of the best things that they added onto the UI because now you know what shows come out on what day. And I also do like the fact that now when you watch an anime, it will play the next Next episode instead of it playing some random episode or the most recent episode which I do have to say I feel like that is kind of more so just for series that are currently still airing or series that have multiple seasons and you're watching the a previous season and they probably want to show you the most recent episode of the newest season so I feel like that's probably an issue that they might still need to fix but I can't say that if you are watching a show that has one season it will play the next episode as opposed to like having to go back and then press play for the episode that you want to watch but yeah I have to say Funimation giving you guys a thumbs up you guys did very well with the UI for this particular app on this particular platform or on this particular uh, device but I have to say please update your UI for your mobile app and your Apple TV app, those ones need a lot of work. But so far, good job. But what do you guys think? So I showed you guys a little bit of the app. If you have Nintendo Switch, I definitely do recommend downloading it, especially if you have no other way of watching Funimation, like you don't have an Apple TV, or you're not able to watch it on your phone or on, an, on a tablet or anything like that. So I do recommend checking it out and downloading it. Seems like it's a really good time. So yeah, definitely do it. But uh, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think of the UI? If you've downloaded it, what do you think of it as well? Or have you been using it? Does it work, play or work fairly well? Like I said, I'm probably not gonna be using the Funimation app on my Nintendo Switch that much because I do have other avenues to watch Funimation on my other devices. So the Switch is not gonna be my first choice, but I do like having it on there. So yeah, comment below your thoughts. Definitely look forward to uh, reading them. And of course, feel free to comment any suggestions you have for future videos. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. Of course, I have links below to my social media accounts. I have an Instagram, a Twitter, and a blog. So please check me out on there and follow me if you like. And uh, of course, I come out with videos two times a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I should have a new video out for you guys on Saturday. This video will be uploaded on Wednesday. It is currently Monday when I'm recording this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Let's know what you guys like and don't like. Also, of course, uh, if you do like my content on my channel, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell icon so that you're notified when I come out with new videos. And yeah, that's what I have for you guys. Like always, tell you guys, stay positive, stay nerdy in today's day and age, stay healthy, and of course, please stay safe. All right, you guys.